Hi everyone, welcome back to our YouTube channel. Okay, so let's get started for tomorrow. Okay, for the analysis for Bank Nifty and Nifty. Now the first thing, okay, let's see what kind of a candlestick pattern is made. Okay. I just see nothing like uh, this candle is pretty small, so I don't give that small candles too much importance. So, and I also see there's an inside bar candle. So what I'm doing right now, I'm just drawing a line on the high and low of the previous day's high. I clearly see there's an inside bar candle. Now inside bar means there has to be a breakout or breakdown for us to initiate a new trade inside this range. Okay. Let's assume market is trading inside this range. Our bias has to be of a strangle. Okay. And even in our video yesterday, Nikita told you that we have sold strangles. She told you simply not to do anything between 50,000 level on the upside and why this level, because this was the all time high. And in the downside, we didn't need to react until 48,200. Okay. So these levels are pretty far and this is the benefit of high wicks trading. So you can sell far OTMs. Okay. Any put option below the support, any call option above the resistance, and you can wait for the market. Okay. In that range. So in this range, market is in strangles for us. So first of all, let me tell you that if it's flat today, because today inside candle, so today there was awesome decay. Too good decay there was in option like selling. So if market opens flat tomorrow, kal, tomorrow also there's going to be damn good decay. So if that happens and if there's damn good decay tomorrow at the opening, then I would prefer to take a very cautious and a safe approach for the intraday trading tomorrow. Because then you know the probability of a spike becomes very high because we are already trading inside an inside candle range and the breakout or breakdown has to come. Okay. Now, ideally we would prefer if the market went sideways for a day or two more because then it would be damn fun. Okay. To trade this up the inside candle high and low breakout. Okay. The more the number of candles inside this range, the better it's going to be for us. Okay. So any chart pattern do you see? I don't see any chart pattern. Okay. As of now, all I see is an inside candle and on the higher time frame. Okay. On the higher time frame, it's just a buy on dips market for us. Right? So because on the weekly time frame, we observed that the markets are bullish. So basically the logic was we have made a higher high here. Okay. Market is currently here. So whenever market comes down to this level, this is a resistance, which probably will become a support. So ideally we want market to come down to 48,200 and for us to buy and then we expect a good bounce. So until 48,200 on the downside, our level becomes like it's a buy on dip kind of a zone. Now, if any of you watched the weekend analysis video of mine, I gave you three leg like, levels. Okay. Three levels to sell puts at, I give you 48,200 level for aggressive people and 47, like 300, I think or 600 for the mediocre ones and the 47,000, I think for the like low risk ones. So even those things have worked perfectly in this week. Okay. This was a relatively easier week. Nothing hard. Okay. In this week today was damn easy. And the only thing hard about yesterday was that reversal, which happened. We didn't get trapped in that because we were expecting that reversal. Okay. So like according to her analysis and my analysis, which was on the weekend, both the things have worked perfectly. She told you to do strangles yesterday and today, because the market was so sideways, we, we got damn good decay in strangles also. Now for tomorrow, what can we do? Okay. Now, first thing is market came up here. It's made an M pattern. Okay. So this, this is resistance for us. So for us to go like long, very aggressively market has to go up here, consolidate for some time and then it should break up. Okay. Then we'll try to play this long trade and on the downside, let me mark this support, which I've been doing even in the weekly analysis. So you see, this was a resistance the one, two, three, four and five. This was a resistance. It's going to turn into a support. Okay. So if the market comes quickly, very down here and any sign of reversal pattern we see here, it would be the best place to go long. Okay. So until here, like, I think it's a buy on dip market. And then whenever you spot a reversal, it's time to go long on the upside. It's just like time to mark the high of the previous day of Monday. And we need a good, like 15 minute candle closing above this level basically then what will happen any person who sold in this level okay all their stop losses are going to get hit so the probability of the market going up is going to be very high then okay so you can wait for one or two candles and the premiums were really high today even an overnight like you know we love selling this like one day prior like strangles so i'm expecting some profit tomorrow let's see if it happens or not even in 48 250000 strikes you know they were damn good premiums I mean, you can easily make half a percent or more like, you know, with those. 
pulls out for tomorrow we are going to trade this inside candle and uh, it also depends on the decay i told you if the decay is a lot then we'll play conservatively if the decay is very less then we'll trade it as normal now let's look at nifty now okay so in nifty i am seeing like we got a strong candle and after that there is some pause okay the market is pausing for the last three days in this zone cool so whenever market breaks this zone we can initiate a trade but inside this zone the perfect thing to do would be to play short strangles only and i let me remind you nifty is damn deadly okay as an index it has the potential to ruin like all your week's hard work also it, the you know it's horrible this like, nifty expiry is very horrible so try to stay away as much as you can from nifty at least it's my advice to you so i don't see any chart pattern also on nifty okay it's just going up and consolidating now if it consolidates there for one two days more and then it breaks out it's going to be good for us then it can go up very quickly okay after this if it consolidates for two three days and then breaks out then it can go up properly okay nifty what i've done i've marked the previous all time high level okay this was the previous all time high okay and here was the breakout so whenever the market comes down here we are going to expect some reversal so i want a higher high here if this happens it's time to go long in nifty also okay or any other bullish pattern if you get especially a bullish candlestick or something you can try a long there so 20 to 750 on the downside and on the upside 23 100 inside this zone it's a strangle zone okay even according to price action this, this is the best for strangles so be little smart okay if you see good decay and all try to exit and de-risk your positions rather than you know keep rolling them closer and closer and get stuck because high wicks will do that to you high wicks will bring you closer and then smash you in one move so don't fall for the, that thing and above this okay if the market becomes very bullish okay especially if today's high is taken out okay then what can we do we can reinitiate our longs okay after today's high is taken out you can slowly slowly keep adding on every higher high okay your positions on the long side put side so where will you sell puts if the market goes up wherever the market turned from any puts below that okay you will be targeting any of these puts cool so try to stay away i think so from nifty but i just told you from a price action from a price action perspective like what can we expect okay we don't definitely don't recommend you to trade nifty okay so i think that was it this was a very short kind of a thing and that was it for uh, this video for today and i've tried this video okay without the picture because a lot of comments were there yesterday for nikita without the picture you could see the charts more clearly so let me see if this works for me if it doesn't i'll go back to the video route okay and as always if you like not like the video please click the like button it helps us and it rewards us for the hard work we do on youtube and we'll see you soon in another video okay bye